Hello viewers, welcome to my YouTube channel MBA Shala. In the previous video, I have explained you what is ARR and with the help of one small example, we have tried to ex I have tried to explain you what is this ARR and its application. In this video, let us solve another problem relating to ARR. Here, two projects are given project X and project Y where the total cost of investment is 10 lakhs on project X and 15 lakhs on project Y and working capital is 5 lakhs each for both the projects and the life of the asset or projects is given 4 and 6 years. Scrap value is 10% on the value of machine and for both the projects and tax is 50% respectively. And relating to these two projects, earnings before depreciation and taxes are given. For X project, throughout the life of the asset, that is 4 years, 8 lakhs is EBDT. So here it is annuity, similar, similar returns. Whereas for project Y, it is 15 lakhs, 9 lakhs, 15 lakhs, 8 lakhs, 6 lakhs and 3 lakhs respectively. Given this data, we are asked to find out ARR. So let us find out ARR. Already I have explained you in the previous video the formula of ARR. ARR is equal to average annual earnings after taxes divided by average investment into 100. So let us first find out for project X and then we will find out for project Y. Project X details are given like this, 8 lakhs every year. So on an average per year we are getting 8 lakhs. So to find out ARR we require earnings after taxes but in this question EBDT is given therefore first we need to find out EAT that is earnings after taxes. So computation of average annual earnings after taxes. Average earnings before depreciation and taxes is 8 lakhs because similar cash flows per year we are getting 8 lakhs. From this less depreciation. Depreciation again we have to follow straight line method. So according to straight line method cost of the project that is 10 lakhs divided by its scrap value. Scrap value is given in the question 10% of 10 lakhs. So it is 1 lakh divided by life of the asset that is 4 years which means 9, 9 lakhs divided by 4. It is coming to 2 lakhs 25,000 depreciation. So from EBDT after charging depreciation we will get earnings before taxes. So difference between these two is 5,75,000. Now from this we have to deduct tax at the rate of 50%. So 50% on 5,75,000 it is around 2,87,500. Here comes our earnings after taxes 2,87,500. Now we have calculated this. Now it is time to calculate average investment. Average investment is equal to original investment minus scrap value divided by 2 plus additional working capital if at all you have to add that and scrap value also is to be added. 
so in this question project x total cost of investment is 10 lakhs minus scrap value is 1 lakh which is 10 percent of original investment divided by 2 no working capital and straight away we have to add scrap value to this so its value is 10 lakhs 50,000 rupees working capital is also given sorry plus 5 lakhs working capital so it is 10 lakhs 50,000 rupees now let us substitute these values in ARR formula so ARR is equal to average annual earnings after taxes that is 2,87,500 divided by average investment 10,50,000 into 100. Into 100 don't forget because we have to determine this ARR in terms of percentage. So 2,87,500 divided by 10,50,000 into 100. This is coming around 27.38 percent so in the similar way let us try to find out project y for project y in the same manner you can determine average annual earnings after taxes these average annual earnings after taxes every year you charge depreciation from uh, ebdt and then tax in that method also you, have, you can find out average annual uh, earnings after taxes so in either ways this uh, this method I have explained you in the previous video so in that way also you can find out and in this manner also we can find out so here again to find out average annual earnings after taxes I'm following the similar method this method so average EBDT the sum of 15 lakhs plus 9 lakhs plus 15 lakhs plus 8 lakhs plus 6 lakhs plus 3 lakhs for 5 years sorry 6 years whatever EBDT is given its sum is 56 lakhs divided by life of project is 6 years so it is 9 lakhs 33,333 in the previous for project Y, we have taken that directly because every year similar uh, returns were coming. So therefore, its average is also same. But here, EBDT is different for all these years. Therefore, we have summed it up divided by 6. It is 9,33,333 in rupees. Now, from EBDT, 9,33,333. We have to charge depreciation. Same manner. Formula is same cost of the project minus scrap value by life of the asset. So for project Y, cost is 15 lakhs minus 10% of 15 lakhs is the scrap value, therefore 1 lakh 50,000 rupees divided by life of project is 6 years. So it is two lakhs twenty five thousand. We got EBT less tax at the rate of fifty percent. So nine lakhs thirty three thousand three thirty three minus two lakhs twenty five thousand is seven lakhs eight thousand three hundred and thirty three, and fifty percent of this is. 3,54,166. Now we got EAT 3,54,166 in rupees. Now the numerator part we have calculated. Let us find out denominator part that is average investment. So average investment formula is the same. Original investment of project Y is 15 lakhs minus the scrap value 
10% of cost that is 1,50,000 divided by 2 plus working capital for this project is also 5 lakhs and plus scrap value. This is rupees 13 lakhs 25,000. Now substitute. ARR is equal to average annual earnings after taxes is 3,54,166 divided by average investment of project Y 13,25,000 into 100. So this is around 26.73 percent. Now given in the question, we have to determine ARR for both these products and we have to suggest which one is to be acceptable. So accept reject criterion. As you all know, the better the returns, the better the percentage returns that will be accepted. So when compared to project Y, project X is giving you maximum returns. Therefore, project X is accepted and Y is rejected. So this is how projects are evaluated and decisions are made by financial manager applying capital budgeting techniques. Now after calculating this problem, let me tell you briefly what are the advantages and disadvantages of these, this technique. Advantages are is it's easy and very simple to understand. You can easily apply this question, this technique. And all this information, it can be easily drawn from accounting records. So I'll write here. It's simple to understand. And required data can be drawn easily from accounting records. And another important point is one of the serious limitation of payback period we have tried to overcome through this ARR method. That is, in payback period method, we will not consider all cash flows in your decision making procedure. But here, we are considering profits earned by the project throughout its life. So these are the advantages and disadvantages. The first and primary disadvantage of ERR is it ignores time value of money, which is a very important financial tool that itself is ignored in this technique. And the second one, it does not differentiate size of investments. It does not differentiate. Considering the same example, in this question, on project X, we are investing 10 lakhs rupees and project Y, 15 lakhs rupees. And as project X is giving you 27%, we are accepting that. But how much we are investing on these projects, that size disparity is completely ignored in this ARR technique. Similarly, it is incompatible with the very primary objective of any organization that is shareholders wealth maximization. It is incompatible. It is not helping you to find out to reach the objective of organization that is shareholders wealth maximization. And another drawback is it is not considering cash flows here. It is considering earnings after taxes. Earnings after taxes means it includes non-cash items like depreciation. We are not adding that it is it is excluding depreciation. It is we are not adding back depreciation. We are not considering here cash flows. So this is also one of the disadvantage. And one more disadvantage is if you compare 10% interest 
or return you are getting on a project whose life is 10 years and let us consider another project where you are getting 8% and for 25 years. When you compare according to ARR method, whichever project is giving you maximum return that will be accepted. But for how long you are getting that return is completely ignored. So these are the disadvantages of ARR technique. Hope you find this video very useful. Happy learning.